Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this lecture we are going to discuss about abstract class versus interface. So let's get started. So the question is why this war? Why everybody is talking about abstract class versus interface? Why there is so much confusion? Well an abstract class looks just similar to interface when there are no implementations present in it and also both are used to define the architecture of the application. So when to use which one, whether we should use interface or abstract class, that's make them confusing. But going further, we will learn about the differences between these two, which actually blurs out the confusion. So let's first understand what exactly these are. What is abstract class? What is an interface? So an abstract class, what exactly it is? First of all, as abstract class is related to defining the architecture of the application, you cannot create an instance of it. It is just created to be a parent class or you can say a base class to the derived classes. Abstract class provides default functionality for all the derived classes. This actually helps out to remove code duplication. Now the question is how it is different from a normal class. A normal base class also does the same. So the difference is it can have abstract methods whose implementation can be written in the derived classes. So we can just declare the function in abstract class and we can implement it in the child class. So let's go to code and see what exactly is abstract class, how we can declare it. So here I have created an abstract class named as device. As you can see that there is abstract keyword present in it. This makes this device class abstract class. Otherwise if I remove it, it would have been a just a normal class. Now an abstract class can contain abstract methods, abstract properties, which you can see over here. Now this device class, why I have created device class as an abstract class because there are certain functionality which are common across all the devices. So as you can see that there is power on functionality, power off functionality. These are the basic functionality that we are assuming other devices would have. Then there is a play video method. It is abstract method. So it has to be implemented in the child class. Then we can also specify virtual methods. These methods can be overridden in the child class, but we can still specify some functionality. If we wish to override it, then we can override in the child class or else the common functionality that we have written over here would be propagated to the child class. So that's how we create an abstract class. We can specify properties, variables in this abstract class, just like normal class. Now I have another class. I've taken the name as Samsung Galaxy. Now over here, it is inheriting from this abstract class. And for all those properties and methods that we have specified as abstract, we have to provide the definition in this child class. Otherwise the compiler will show an error. Like if I remove this particular code, the compiler will show me an error because it is must to implement every abstract member inside the child class. So that's why we have to provide some definition inside our child class. So as we can see that this play video method was abstract. Also this property battery percentage, this was also abstract. So we have to define it over here. So that's how we use abstract class. Now let's see what interface is. To start off, it's not a class, it's an entity. And what it does, it enforces the child class to implement the set of functionalities. Just like in abstract class, if we had abstract member, then it was mandatory to implement it in the child class. Similarly, with the case of interface, all the methods that we write into it must be implemented inside the child class. There's a naming convention as well with interfaces. We prefix I before the name of the interface. Now another thing is that a class can inherit from multiple interfaces. Unlike class cannot inherit from multiple classes. It can only inherit from single class. We cannot initialize variable inside an interface. Also we cannot write implementation inside the interface. It contains only declaration. The implementation is done inside the child class which are inheriting from the interface. And it is must for a child class to implement those declaration. Otherwise compiler will throw an error. So now let's take a look at the code, how we can create an interface. So here I have an interface named as fruit. It is defined as iFruit and there is keyword interface present before it. So as we have mentioned, it cannot have variables. It cannot have implementation in it. Just declaration of the methods or property. So these are the methods and property that a fruit can implement. So that's why we have this interface iFruit. Now I've created a class named as orange. Now this orange class is inheriting from iFruit and what this interface is doing, 
it is actually enforcing this particular class to implement all these methods and properties. So this orange class has to implement the name, season, color, all these methods inside it because these are declared in iFruit interface and orange class is inheriting from it. So that's how interface enforces a set of functionalities inside the child classes. Now let's have a look to see the differences between abstract class and interface. So these are the differences between abstract class and interface. Let's go one by one through them. So a class can inherit only one abstract class while it can inherit from several interfaces. Now an abstract class can provide a complete implementation of method or some implementation that can be overridden or just the declaration of the method. While an interface cannot provide all these things, it just specifies the declaration of the methods and those have to be implemented in the child class. Now an abstract class can contain access modifiers like public, private. These modifiers can be used in abstract class but for interface everything is considered as public. An abstract class defines the core identity of a class. When we have similar types of objects then a specific abstract class helps us serving the purpose while the interfaces they are used to define the basic abilities of a class. If various implementations are of the same kind and same behavior then abstract class is better used while if the implementation only share the method signature and the implementation is different in every case then it is better to use interfaces. Now for the last point if we have a new method introduced in the abstract class or interfaces in case of abstract class we can provide a default implementation so that all the classes that are inheriting from this abstract class they are not affected. But in case of interface, if any method is added, then all the class that are inheriting from it, they have to implement that method. So that's a big difference. Now let's conclude this discussion. There are things that we have to keep in mind while choosing between interface and abstract class. So all in all, an interface defines what something can do. It's defined the behavior. And an abstract class defines what something really is. So basically abstract class is used when we know that these objects have similar behavior, similar functionalities, then an abstract class can serve the purpose. But in case you don't know what exactly the implementation would be, but you know certain functionalities that these objects are going to provide, then you can use interface. An abstract class should be carefully chosen. It should reflect the true basic nature of the objects that are inheriting from it because it can only be inherited only once. In case you have slight doubt in your mind, that these objects are not similar, not closely related, then you should be using interfaces instead of the abstract class. So I hope I have cleared out some confusion from your mind. Now you know the major differences between these two, which one to choose as per your requirement. You can also visit our site cheesycode.com. We have a tutorial regarding the C-sharp series. And if you liked this video and it was helpful for you, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.